Hey guys, so we are uh, recording Radio Man, an amazing uh, drama podcast, or should we call it a uh, audio revolution? <laughs> a light-hearted series. <laughs> a very dark symphonic fiction, the writer says, who's over there. Whenever I talk to people about creativity in audio production, I always mention one scene from episode 7 of the podcast Radio Man. The setup's pretty simple, a conversation in a pub toilet. I told you in an earlier video, you should always be searching for moments where you can do something interesting. And this scene gave me that chance. Let's start with the basics. We've got this track of pub ambience. The high end is cut by about 9 dB, so when he's in the toilet, it sounds like the voices are the other side of the wall. This track of louder voices is similar, but it also pans as we leave the bathroom. The previous track therefore has another role. It centers the audio so that the background sound doesn't all move to one side. Next, we've got the bathroom room tone. It's probably a little bit louder than it might be in real life, but it sounds good, so who cares? As Nikolai's character leaves the bathroom, we've got the toilet door opening and closing, plus his steps. The top track is steps on carpet, the bottom is steps on bathroom lino. Just one step. Would anyone notice it? I don't know, but if you appreciate it, leave a note in the comments. Down here we've got the soundtrack playing from the band Crime, I love it. The toilet speaker is small and it switches to a bigger speaker when we enter the pub, just a crossfade. There's a send on this track with a delay and some other effects. This can often be useful to give an idea of the size of a room. It's like you can hear the other speaker in the distance and that sound hits your ear slightly later than the one next to your ear. So what is it about this scene that means I always end up talking about it? Because it seems pretty simple, right? It's this track. Let's take a listen. Okay, pretty standard. Let's skip forward. Okay, and a bit more. Okay, don't worry if you're confused. It's a guy washing his hands and drying them, right? Let me explain. Spoiler alert. One of the characters is a serial killer. So any chance I could find to show his strange mannerisms, I took. Because obviously we don't have video, right? So whether that's him wiping down his jumper before he attacks someone, or excessively washing his hands with soap, it all adds up, even if it's just subconsciously. But my favourite bit, and the bit this video is actually about, is the hand dryer. Because when we put the characters' voices in, Chaz, played by Nikolai costa Wardell from Game of Thrones, Sounds too good to be true. <laughs> and Ian, played by David Morrissey from The Walking Dead. I mean, it though, come and join us. Hey, you two get on. Yeah, I don't think. We get a chance to develop their characters through sound. Ian talks a lot, and Chaz isn't that invested in their friendship. So Chaz triggers the hand dryer while Ian is talking. And I make the audio sound as if the camera is right there up against the hand dryer, which would be an unconventional shot. So the sound of the dryer drowns out what Ian is saying. Be nice if you returned your messages, though. Oh. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. See you later. It's effectively Chaz saying, "I don't care about what you have to say. I'm not listening." I remember coming up with this idea and texting the writer of the show, Joe, being like, "Oh, I've got such a good idea. If this works, this is going to be so fun," because. The sound design here is its own character. And maybe it's really subtle, but it's those subtle moments that can give your production something unique, or at least gives you as a producer the chance to try something new. Let's take a listen to the full scene. She's funny, smart, and you know what? She likes me too. Yeah, sounds too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Don't say it. I mean it though, come and join us. Hey, you two get on. Yeah, I don't think so, not tonight. Be nice if you returned your messages though. Oh. Yeah, all yeah, right. All right, see you later.
Follow me for more production ideas and click subscribe and like and all that stuff because I kind of like making YouTube videos.